Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Simply Deb, where simplicity is my way of life. I pray everyone is having an amazing day. If you can please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button below, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, I hope out there, everyone out there is having a great day. Um, as promised, this is my Saturday morning routine, cleaning up. And I have a question for you guys. On your Saturday mornings, how do you spend your Saturday mornings? Do you usually spend your Saturday morning cleaning up? Um, well, this is what I do. Um, I work Monday through Friday and my house get kind of in a disarray. So Saturday mornings I always spent cleaning up. I try to pick up Monday through Friday, uh, whatever I put down or um, take out. But unfortunately, it's not always that easy and don't always work that way. So Saturday mornings, I do a very thorough cleaning through my home. I change my sheets. I clean out my refrigerator, throw away old food, whatever wasn't or whatever was cooked that wasn't used, it gets tossed out. So I typically, yeah, I typically do a very, very, very thorough cleaning um, on Saturday morning. So this is my Saturday morning routine. I just um, get up and I start my day off with a little probably a little bowl of oatmeal and then i get to cleaning up i do find such a pleasure in cleaning my home i love 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 a clean home i do remember when i was younger i used to always say god when i get married and get my own home i would never spare spend my saturday mornings cleaning up well <laughs> that is just what i'm doing spending my saturday mornings cleaning up I, like I said, love a clean home. I love the clean smell. I love my clean linens when I get in the bed on Saturday night. It just feels so good to lay on clean sheets. I do take off my sheets once a week and clean those. It change the sheets rather um, and wash the ones that were on the bed and replace them. Um, I clean up under the beds. I clean, uh, wipe down my bed, wipe down everything. And I just, I, I just love the cleanliness. I love the clean smell. So, yep. So this is how I spend my Saturday mornings, um, doing what I do. And then usually once I'm finished cleaning up, uh, my husband and my daughter, um, sometimes we either go to the mall or go out to dinner, or I usually have my, uh, Bella, my granddaughter, Bella. Um, so, and then we would try to do something with her. Um, so yeah, so this is what I do. So yeah, so, um, girl talk while my video is going through. Okay. Do you, all, well, I know you all have friends, but do you all have a when you're in a conversation with them is it like a, a one-sided conversation because I find myself when I talk to some people some of my girlfriends not all but when I talk to some of them it's like everything is always about them it's about the people that they work with it's about the people that they live with it's about their family and I don't know to you but to me oh my god when people start talking about people who they work with and start naming John, Lou, Lindsay, Kathy, Mary, Stacy, Adam, Mike, and give me the feel, full routine or rundown of what's going on at their job, it's like, do you really, I'm not going to say I don't care, but I really don't care. I'm like, I don't know these people, probably would never meet these people. But it just seems like sometimes a conversation is always a one-sided conversation and I cannot like get a word in or it's like a competition conversation. So if I say that I did something, then they say that they did something. Um, typically <laughs> close to what I'm saying that I did. So I don't know. I don't know why people are like that. Um, it, it's funny. I'm just sitting here just thinking, just reflecting back on my um, last week, um, talking to a couple of people. And I was like, uh, why is everything a one-sided conversation? It's always they get in everything that they want, but I can't get in anything I want. But oh well, I guess that's life. But yeah, guys. So yeah, if you could please hit that subscribe button for me, I would greatly appreciate it. 
Um, I'm coming to you this morning with cleaning up my home. Um, like I said, this is what I do typically on a Saturday morning. I hate to go out and have to come back home and clean up because that never happens. If I go out, which I, I mean, you were very, very, very rarely see me go out and leave my home a mess on Saturday mornings, unless and I like really have something to do, an errand that I have to run, a store that um, is only open till for a couple of hours that I have to get to. Um, so I, I normally get up and clean up. I do talk to some girlfriends and they tell me, well, I have to go out and go do my grocery shopping. But I don't know, I have to clean out my refrigerator, take everything out, clean it out, wipe it out, and then put clean stuff in there, clean items. I can't go grocery shopping and my house is in a disarray and then come home and have groceries to put up because that to me is just so much more work. Um, I prefer to clean up and then if I have to go grocery stop shopping, I'll go out to the um, grocery shopping, to the grocery store and get my items and come back home. And then you put them away in a clean, nice refrigerator. Um, I don't know. That's just me. And that's a little bit of my um, OCD that I have. But yeah, so I don't like... Um, yeah, so I don't like making more work um, than what is needed. So I try not to, and it works for me. So yeah, so I'll go to the grocery store once I'm done with my cleaning. Um, I won't leave the house until my house is spick and span. And then I take my shower, take my bath or whatever, um, and put my clothes on, and then I hit the streets. Until then, I have to get my house in order. So yeah, so... That is what I do on my Saturday mornings. I clean up. Yep. I go from room to room to room to room to room. Um, I remember when I was younger with um, living at home, when I was a little girl, I would um, clean up and yeah, the, the same thing. Basically, we couldn't leave the house. We couldn't go out until the house was clean on Saturday and when I say clean I mean baseboards were clean were scrubbed floors were scrubbed the same thing refrigerator had to be cleaned out weekly you couldn't have any old food and I wouldn't even want food from one week to the next week to be in the refrigerator that is gross it's nasty and it needs to go in the garbage who wants old food left from one week over you're not gonna eat it at least I wouldn't eat it I wouldn't give it to anybody in my home to eat so I wouldn't have it in the refrigerator. I just, you know, throw it out. You went to the restaurant, you have carry out. I know my refrigerator at work, I can't even put anything in it because guys, it is so freaking gross. Oh my God. I really think something is growing in that refrigerator. Yeah, I really do, but I don't use it. I, I refuse to put anything in it. It's just so gross and I'm like, and. If I would, was using it, I probably would clean it out, but I've never used it. And when I got to the office, it was that way. So I'm like, hey, that's what they like. So that's what they use. Um, but I, I can't, I, I just can't put anything in there, especially overnight. If I bring, probably since the beginning of the year that is still in there. I don't know why they won't just toss it out, but I just think that it's just really gross. But yeah, so back to my um, cleaning at home. Um, I love my home to smell really, really good. I love um, fresh linen on the bed. Oh my God, that feels so good. Once you've cleaned up and at night when it's time to go to bed, you get in a clean bed. Oh my God, that's just like the best feeling ever. I love that. So, yep, so that's what I do. And I also um, mm, wash and fold my clothes up. I don't know how people can leave clothes in baskets and take clothes out of the basket um, day to day. That is not me. That is something I would never, ever, ever get used to. I will have to take my clothes out the dryer, fold them up, and put them away. I don't want to have to go looking for anything. Where things should be, they should be. Um, as far as my underwear, bras, I've, all of that stuff needs to be in the drawer. Um, my socks, uh, tennis socks, all of that needs to be put away. I cannot stand to be looking for something 
Monday through Friday. So, yep, I wash all my stuff. Um, the clothes that I typically wear to work, I typically take to the cleaners and uh, well I do I do that every Friday drop them off at the cleaners and pick them up on Saturday that again saves me time because I don't have to sit there and iron all my clothes Monday through Friday I get them back they're nice and clean um, granted I do wear Monday through Friday well it's, it's getting warmer here in Chicago actually it's still cold here in Chicago but we're in the spring it's like the end of May May today is May 21st so and it's still kind of chilly here but I I'm I'm such a when I go shopping for clothes when I find an item that I truly 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 like I'll buy like three four pair of them or two tops my daughter was just telling me the other day mom you have so many white tops I don't know white tops just go with everything with my black bottoms so Yep, but I typically buy two, three items um, alike. Uh, probably sometimes I try to switch it up and get it in different colors. But if it fit me good, I love it. And I'll get a couple of pair of them. And so I do have, well now it's like I said, it's typically it's trying to get a little warmer. I have my black um, ankle pants that I wear Monday through Friday. So that makes it easy. I can always get different color tops to go with my black bottoms. It's just an easy outfit to throw together and still look really, really nice in. So that's what I do um, on Monday through Friday. And I, I, I take them to the cleaners, get them clean. Um, I have one girlfriend, she tell me, why do you put your clothes in the cleaners every week? That is so expensive. But it's, so, it's not that expensive when you think about it. And it saves you time because like I say, I don't have to wash it. I don't have to let it hang dry and I don't have to iron it. When I take them on Friday, pick them up on Saturday, they're nice and, and clean. The only thing is my cleaners close like um, on Saturdays at six. So I have to be at the cleaners before six, but usually my clothes are done by like four on Saturday mornings or Saturdays afternoons. So once I'm finished cleaning, Usually it's about one o'clock. I normally take my shower, um, put my clothes on. My husband, he usually works on Saturdays, some Saturdays, and he gets off um, at about two and get home at about three. So then at three o'clock, we're here probably change and then we'll hit the streets. So that time works out good for me. Um, I'll go to the cleaners, get my clothes. Um, I usually get there about 3.30 and they're done. So it, it works out good. Um, like I say, I don't go get my hair did on, I used to go to the beauty um, salon, but I stopped going because it was time consuming. Everything is about time, and that's why I really appreciate you guys sitting here watching my video. Um, so, because time is really, really just something that you can never get back, and I do appreciate, um, or don't take it for granted. Um, so I, I just, you know, I appreciate the time that you, you know, sitting here watching my video because you don't have to, and I, I greatly appreciate it. Um, so I don't have time to, um, go to a beauty salon, so I'll do my hair myself, um, for Sundays for church. So I typically clean up on Saturdays mornings, um, go out in the afternoon or in the evening with my husband. Um, my Sunday mornings, I get up, I go to church, um, go to church with my mom, dad, and my two sisters, um, have a nice time at church, and then I come home and go get something to eat, and, and before you know it, it's getting ready for Monday morning, <clears throat> so going to the cleaners, um, getting those clothes done, it, it really saves a lot of time, and usually I have my dress in four, pant four slacks with four tops. On Friday is more of a casual day at my office, so I can wear jeans, which is good because, you know, I can wash my jeans, um, my good jeans. I do take those to the cleaners as well, but a lot of jeans I have that I can just wash or caprice and um, iron those and put those on on Friday with a little top. So that's, you know, that's not a problem um, and that's not hard to do on Thursday nights. And it's easy on Thursday nights because I'm like, I only have one day to go Friday, so I don't mind doing it on a Thursday night. Um, so yeah, so I don't go to a beauty salon because that it takes a long time in there um, And I don't really have like two three four hours to sit in a beauty salon I used to go to the beauty salon where I used to have this one lady do my hair 
Oh my God, she used to schedule me for like six o'clock in the morning. And she used to didn't show up till about 6.30, sometimes seven. Then she would be on the phone from like seven to eight. It's just like people, I mean, but I did find this one beauty salon that is really good. So she do have you in and out, but it's just a matter of me cleaning up and getting out there. And if I'm gonna go get my hair did, I like to do it early in the morning. And so I don't have that kind of time in the morning time. At least on my videos, you can watch this, you know, in your downtime when you don't have, you know, a lot to do. I usually go through YouTube and, and watch different videos. So, <clears throat> but my time is so precious on Saturdays just to sit at a beauty salon. I just don't, that's my daughter, Tiara. Hi, Tiara. <laughs> But yeah, but I usually just don't have that kind of time just to sit in a beauty salon on Saturdays just to get my hair did. I can wash and blow dry my own hair and flat iron it and I'm good. Um, so I don't really do any any different styles to my hair other than flat iron it. Although I do want a ponytail. I've been saying that for a while now. Um, so maybe I'll go ahead and go to the beauty shop. I am getting ready to go out of town. So I guess I'll do a video of the items that um, I'll be taking with me out of town but I hope everyone um, like I said is having a great day and this is coming up to the end of my video um, as you can see I usually um, uh, I have this one spray that I get from pure one it's a house spray it smells so good oh my god and I put it in the other video with the items that I use to clean up my home um, and that spray, it just, it smells really good. I don't like a lot of candles um, burning and a lot of air fresheners. I, I can't deal with a lot of that. Um, so I don't use it. But thank you guys so much for watching my video. I truly, pre uh, truly appreciate it. I hope you have enjoyed it. And again, if you can please subscribe to my channel. If you can please hit the bell. Um, and, and you will be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.